y'all and welcome back. Does this look familiar? If you've been here for a while, you might remember me doing thrift hauls in this location of my home. Um, so I'm going to be sharing with you my amazing thrift haul and antique haul from the weekend. Um, I've got quite a bit, so it needed its own designated video. Um, I shared a few clips from some antique stores and stuff that we went into. We were out of town and we had some time, so James took me to some thrift stores and to some antique stores, and so I am so excited to share with you what I've got, so let's just get started. Okay, um, I just have them set all over, so I'm not going to really do them in any certain order. I will just share what I've got and where they came from. The majority of this haul is for my booth, but I do have a few select items for myself and one for my mother, so... Let's just get started. So I did pick this up at an antique store. This beautiful bookend. It says 1776. I absolutely love it. So it is going to go in our office and I paid six dollars for this. And it is heavy. Very, very heavy. So I did pick that up for myself. Also at that same store, I picked this little brass box with this little wooden inlay in it. And I did pay up for it, but I'm keeping it for myself. Um, I did pay $8 for this, but I really loved it. I'm just so into these little brass boxes and these little trinket boxes. So I did pick this up and I, it's also going to go in our office. Okay, moving right along. So at the Goodwill where we were at, we were in Phoenix, Alabama, and their Goodwill was amazing. And I ended up spending $36 for everything I got and the majority of it is for the booth. <laughs> so I picked these up and you're probably thinking why? Well, we're going to take this out. This is not going to be part of it, but I got these to go in this for the booth and I was so excited to find another one of these. The one I have um, that I currently use looks just like this. I have it in my hallway with the beautiful floral arrangement in it, but I sold one in my booth that one of my viewers bought and she used it. She uses it in her kitchen for her utensils and I thought it was so beautiful. So I did pick this up for the booth. Um, at that same Goodwill, I picked up these. These were in a two pack. And it was these pears, these glass pears. I thought they were absolutely beautiful. I would have loved to have found a spot for them in my home, but I do not have anywhere. I tried, trust me, that's why I've unwrapped them. I really tried. Couldn't find a spot for them, so these will also be going in the booth. Um, let's see. I also, at that same Goodwill, found this little brass container and it will be going in my booth as well these are just so cute to have just sitting around you can put stuff in them uh, floral arrangements you can use them like to i mean there's just so many options like you can put like your remote controls um just whatever you know whatever you could put little pumpkins in it for fall it doesn't matter so i got that for the booth uh okay i picked this up at that same goodwill let me grab it without breaking it this beautiful oil lamp. Now, it did not come with this globe. I bought this globe at the Goodwill to go on here because the globe that came on it had the little angels on it, which is cute, don't get me wrong, but I was wanting to put it in my booth and people realizing, you know, you can change these out and you can use them for more than just Christmas, you know, so this will also be going in my booth. I have one exact, well, almost exactly like it that I have in my dining room, but I just think this is so pretty. I absolutely love it and another booth item from the Goodwill. Um, let me see. Oh, this also came from that same Goodwill. How adorable is this? Now it is like it had this little contraption for the light. This, however, does not work. I've tried to change the bulb. Um, it just doesn't work, but that's okay. My mom has one of these, so I'm just going to replace it, but I'm going to dress this little cat up a little bit. I'm going to kind of like, lightly paint it to look like Arthur, Cody and Sarah's cat, but this will be going in the booth, and when I put it in the booth, it will be a little lamp, little nightlight kind of thing, so I did pick this up at the Goodwill. It wasn't priced, so she just made me a price on it, so I got that. Okay, 
when I seen this, I could not believe it because I have one exactly like this that I have spray painted and currently use in our bathroom. This toilet paper holder, how adorable. It's dirty, it needs to be, you know, tweaked a little bit. But I was so surprised at what these are worth and what they're going for on like eBay. I couldn't believe it, but because I got it at the Goodwill for a very inexpensive price, I'm gonna kind of make it look like brass. I'm gonna spray paint it like I did mine and it's gonna go in the booth, but I just absolutely love it. I love ours. And I like that it screws into the wall. It's not on that little plate that you have to do those little screws. I hate those things. Um, at the same Goodwill, I picked this up. How adorable. Another booth item. Um, I just think it is so cute. And teapot sell really well for me in my booth. So hopefully this one will sell. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what this hair, this hair's got a mind of its own today. Look at that. Go back where you belong. Um, okay, at the same Goodwill, we're still at the same Goodwill, I picked this up for myself. I love this mug. I like a thick, heavy mug. This is actually a false graph mug. And y'all, 89 cents. So, I did pick this up for me. I will be using it for myself. I'm trying to think. I was not going to do just all the Goodwill, but I think that's everything I got from the Goodwill, actually. So, I went to the American Thrift Store in Phoenix City, Alabama, and I was very surprised with what I found there. Oh, I missed this thing at the Goodwill. Hold on. I bought this at the Goodwill, and they had it wrapped up, but I knew most likely it was a candle, and it was, but it had been burned by the time I unwrapped it when I got home and unwrapped it, it had been burned. So I just took the old candle out and melted a new candle in it. This is Pumpkin Apple by Bath & Body Works, and I will insert the footage of where I did that, but I'm gonna keep this and use this, um, and I will eventually burn it, and then I can just put another one in it, but it is so cute, I think I paid $2.99 for it? Yeah. So, that's mine. <laughs> okay, now to the American Thrift Store. Um, so, I bought this when I seen this. Um, I didn't realize that it was a hobbyist piece, but undoubtedly it is, and I'll tell you why. And I'll kind of put some footage over here so you can see, but I thought this was paint pen. And I thought, well, I can just take some acetone and get that off, but no, I could not. So, undoubtedly, this was a hobbyist piece that they did a glaze over, and so this will not come off. I had bought this to go in my booth. I may try it in my booth. I really don't know if it will sell because it has this on it, even though you can put that to the back. But if it doesn't sell, then I can always use it for the spring, you know, here in my house. Um, but... And I'll probably end up having to do that anyway because I don't know with it, with this being on it, if I could really price it to what I would need to, to make it work for me. So, anyway, I did pick this up. It may or may not go in the booth, not because I want it for myself because I really don't need it, but it's beautiful. But I will find a spot for it anyway. <laughs> I bought a couple of bagged items. I was just going to show you. This has come out of this bag. It's this cute little. Print. I didn't buy it for the print. I bought it for the frame for myself. I did pay up for this because I love this little frame. These are very hard to find for me. I almost like butter pats sometimes. <laughs> but I'm going to take this out, put something in it, and I'll probably add it to my gallery wall in my bedroom. I'm not sure yet. But these little frames like this can just go anywhere, and I absolutely love them. So this is another item for myself. The next bagged item is like this, um, and one of them was messed up, but I was like, mm, I think I can fix it. These were in it, and the top corners, they were folded down like that, but it's just like foil, so I bent it back. These are very old, and so I will be putting them in my booth, and because they were a bagged item, I can price them very fairly, considering their condition and stuff. And we'll see. We'll see if they sell. My mom at first said, oh, I want them. And I was going to give them to her. And then she said, no, just put them in the booth. She said, I really don't have anywhere for them. So, these will be going in the booth. Uh, let's see. Okay. At the same American Thrift Store, I did pick up this book. 
Wreaths and Nature Crafts. And what I love about this book, even though it has this jacket on it, when you take it off, look at that. I love books that they have the same um, cover as the book jackets when it's pretty like this. Now, I don't like all of them to do that, but some of them are like that. Anyway, I bought this for me to look at. I really enjoy looking at these kinds of books and getting ideas. And then I can always add it to my booth and sell it for a very good price. And it's a win-win. But this would be pretty just sitting on your coffee table for the fall. I love it. So I got that. And I want to say their books at the American Thrift Stores are like $2 for their hardbacks and $1.50 for their paperbacks, I think. Um, I got this at the American Thrift Store. This um, is the Webster's Seventh New Co uh, Collegiate Dictionary, and it was copyright in 1970. And I just, I loved the linen book cover. I love this. And uh, you could even do it like this. So I got this. This may or may not go in my booth. I may end up keeping it. I may put it in my booth. We will see. And then at the American Thrift Store, I bought this. I love this, but I do not love the frame it's in. I could see it in a wood, an old chunky wood frame or even like a beautiful gold frame. I don't know. This frame just doesn't do it for me, but the picture, the Norman Rockwell picture does. And I absolutely love it. And I was trying to think of a way that I could incorporate it into my decor for fall, but I may end up putting this in the booth. I don't know. We'll just see. I love that. I picked this up at the American Thrift Store. I absolutely love it. I'm going to put this up for my summer decor. This just chunky watermelon that looks very old and primitive. I really, really love it. So, I picked that up. This is another piece for me. And then I picked up this. I was so surprised at the price. Because at our American Thrift Stores, this would have easily cost $3.99, and it was only $0.99, cents, and I got it for the frame. Um, and what I'm going to do is just put a different print in it, and I'll probably put it in my booth. You know, you just can't beat it. I have a bunch of prints, and these are the perfect size for, like, over your stove, on the little shelf, to hang on the back of a bookcase. You know, there's so many options for this, so I did pick this up primarily for the frame for 99 cents. You just, I just couldn't beat that. And then at the same store, I got this little Bible. I love it. And um, it was free. I think, I don't think they charged me for this one, but I just absolutely loved it. So I did grab this again for myself. Okay, then we went to um, couple antique stores which I showed you the one purchase from that antique store from the second antique store we went to I purchased this y'all I had never seen a stool like this with brass legs I was so surprised I really love the fabric it's beautiful but it's not going to work for my decor so I'm going to leave it intact but I'm going to cover over it and I'm going to be swapping it out for one of my little stools that I have and I'll be putting one that I have in the booth. And then I'll be keeping this one because I love the brass legs. And they had it priced for $20. And I was going to pay $20 for it again because I've just never seen the brass legs. But when I got up to check out, it was on sale and I got it for $15. And I just thought that was just a perfect price for this. And again, I love the fabric. But it just won't work right now for where I want to put it. So I will be recovering it with some fabric I already have. And then we're almost done. The last few items I have. So this is from a local thrift store. Um, I got this for my mama. She has a taller one like this that she's, she's been looking for something to put her coffee pods in. And I, I, when I seen this, I said she could use her taller one for her coffee pods. And she could use this one for her cookies, like she has some cookies she just has there, and it's never full, so it would be perfect, and it was $3, so I picked it up, I said, if she don't want it, worst case scenario, I'll just find a spot for it, <laughs> but I loved it, and it's even like somebody's carved their name in it, but she was so excited that um, I picked this up for her, so she definitely wanted it. Okay, at the Salvation Army Thrift Store near me, I picked this up, and it is a, you can hardly read it, but it's a New Testament. Let me see what it says. 
the Great New Testament. Anyway, it was in their uh, bin with the Bibles, and so it was free, but you could only take one. So I looked through the bin. I would be willing. I would have gladly paid for it, but it was free, so I did get it, and I love it. I love this dark green color, and I just love everything about it. So I did get this. Now, at that same antique store where I picked up this jar for my mother, I also picked this up. <gasps> I know, I know, I love this. Y'all, if it could talk, what stories could it tell? Anyway, I got this for me. I'm going to put it on my peg rack. Well, that's where I think I'm going to put it, on my peg rack in my laundry room. But I paid $8 for this, and I love it. I love it. The more beat up and rusty, the better I love it. So I got this for me. And I got this for me. How adorable is this? Y'all, they had a tag on it. Of course, at the antique stores, they take the tags. But it had $5 as is. And I'm like, yes, all day long, yes. So this little brass clock, I picked it for myself. And I absolutely love it so i have one more item that i've already put in place because i'm using it so let me go grab that real quick and i'll show you what it is okay i'm back <laughs> so at the salvation army i walked in and i spotted this and this is exactly what it looked like and i was thinking oh my gosh that would be the most amazing little garbage can for the bathroom now there's nothing in it it's not dirty or anything um so I'm using it as a garbage can in our guest bath because the basket that I had thrifted to use as a garbage can, it was just a little too large for the area. I was making it work, but it was just a little too large and it was cumbersome and it was hard to get it in and out to empty the trash and all this and that. So when I seen this, I thought this would be perfect. And I'll use the basket in our bathroom because I was wanting a different can in there and it all worked out perfectly. Y'all, this is not a garbage can. I did not realize this was not a garbage can until I went to the antique store where I purchased this. And I'll insert the footage, but this is an ice bucket. <laughs> now, the one at the antique store was complete with the handle and the lid, and I think they were asking $38 for it. But this is a large ice bucket. And I was like, who knew? So I'm using it as a garbage can for a bathroom. And I paid $4.99 for it at the Salvation Army. And I just thought that was so funny because I would have never looked at this and thought, oh, look at this ice bucket. But it's an ice bucket. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is going to do it. I'm going to insert the clips at the end of how I'm using my items. But I wanted to say thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this antique thrift haul. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. I can't believe that I left out this cute little tray that I bought from an antique store on our trip. I paid up for it, but I really loved it. I paid $10 for it, but this is where I had envisioned it going. And look at this key, y'all. Have y'all ever seen a key like that? This was sent to me by a friend. And I thought it was the coolest thing. So I have it laying here. Just like this. But I love that little tray. So this little pumpkin I thrifted for $2.99 and it had a burnt out candle in it. So what I've done is this is the one I've had back there on my candle warmer in the office. So I wrapped it up in a towel, tapped the glass. It slid out of the glass. I cut it in half. I took the wick and I've put it in here, and now I'm melting the wax, and I'm gonna pour it in here to make another little candle. Now this is apple pumpkin, which I think is perfect for the pumpkin. So um, I don't know if I'll use all of it, but this is a great way to reuse these candles. Like once you put them on the warmer, this is what the wick looks like, and you can't really light it. So I'm going to try this. I wish I'd have cut it up a little bit higher so my wick would have been longer, but I didn't. Or maybe I should have pulled my wick out before I even cut the candle, but I didn't. 
Um, actually, I didn't expect it, the knife to go through as easily as it did, but I guess it's still kind of soft from it being under the warmer for so long because I've had this one in there for a while. But that's okay. We'll use what we can, then I'll bag up what I don't use. And um, when this one starts melting down, I'll just take it out, buy some wicks in the meantime, and start over. <laughs> that was the first pour. Now I've added that to it we'll see how far that gets me and then i still have this whole block right here i need to but I'm just gonna let that melt and i still have quite a bit of wick so it smells so good <laughs> it smells really good mm -hmm. 